I bought a few of these digital voltmeter blocks and they were good. You can buy them on the World Wide Web, as far as I know also on Banggood. I bought it in a radio shop anyway. Uh, here is that unit again. On the back side we find, find three wires, uh, a black, a red and a yellow. Black is ground, red is the voltage supply and yellow is the measurement wire. And I found that when I wanted to use this uh, unit as a circuit that can measure its own supply voltage, I had to do some adaptations. And when you look on the World Wide Web, you find these um, properties of the circuit. It shows that it needs an external independent power supply, but I uh, made a trick to avoid that external independent power supply. I want to show that. Um, and here are more, is more information. Maximum 30 volts, that's important, otherwise it can be damaged. And here more information. So, uh, the trick is in fact very simple. We make a circuit in which we lift up uh, one of the voltages to which, with which the, uh, this unit is supplied. And that's done with the help of a resistor. You see here a potentiometer. That was my first test circuit. That's here. This is the test circuit and I show it because perhaps um, this trick will also work with other small digital voltmeter blocks. A potentiometer here that creates inside here, inside that uh, block, um, a negative voltage where it's needed to lift up the reading of the meter somewhat. Because when you don't do that, when you try to um, measure the voltage um, of that meter and connect, for instance, the yellow wire to the red wire, you will see that there is a voltage difference of 2 volts. In that case the meter does not show the real voltage, the real input voltage. Uh, so it needs a kind of help voltage. And here is the final schematic. You see uh, 7812. It stabilizes the unit uh, it gives it an exact um, supply voltage. That's my voltmeter again. Uh, it gives it an exact supply voltage and a yellow wire goes to the input. Uh, and here is that resistor that creates a kind of negative voltage drop inside this block that makes it work properly. Backside wiring. Here the backside again. So it's a simple trick. And here you see the whole setup. The 7812 in and out. Here the input resistor and here the resistor of 1K that sets the brightness. Here the um, digital voltage block and here I use that potentiometer. It's now the test circuit, but you can certainly use, in this case, only a 220 ohm resistor. Let's see whether it is uh, reliable. We read now 20. Uh, 1.9 volts and also here on the meter 21.9 and here 22. Turn the voltage from the power supply somewhat up. Uh, 
and or down. The, the lowest voltage in this application is approximately 10 volts. Let's test that again. Well, we can go further back. Here we even have uh, 9.54 or 5.9 and this is 9.6. So it's usable say between uh, 10 volt and 30 volt. 30 volt is the maximum that it can handle.